So how are we going to explain type 2 diabetes in just a couple of minutes? I suppose really type 2 diabetes, the thing that really characterizes it is a high blood sugar. And the problem with a high blood sugar is over time it ages your blood vessels. So uh, you've got a problem with the small blood vessels in the eye and the kidney, they uh, give problems. And then the large uh, blood vessels, maybe to your heart or even your brain, could also age, which is kind of bad news. The thing that is good about this and the hope that comes from it is um, type 2 diabetes and the blood glucose that is the problem can be controlled really well. And the logical place to begin, really, is where does that sugar come from? So uh, if, you, if your blood glucose or your blood sugar is high, where has it come from? Now, it is true to say that stress can put up blood glucose and, and drugs and other things. But really, I, I've been thinking about this for years now. And I think most of the glucose or the sugar has come from what you've eaten. And so the question would be, well, what might you have eaten that has put the blood sugar up? Uh, so breaking it down simply, you've got uh, naturally produced sugar, so that might be honey, or it could be raisins. So these are foods that naturally have a lot of sugar in. And you'd have to question really whether that's a good dietary choice if you're trying to keep your blood sugar healthy and lower. The next group of foods would be foods with uh, sugar that's been added to them. So that could be biscuits, cakes, sugary drinks. And again, maybe that's not such a great choice if you're trying to keep your blood sugar down. Many patients say to me, well, I've cut out all these sources of sugar, so why is my diabetes still so badly controlled? And for some of them, the answer is starchy carbs. Because if we go back to uh, digestion, that breaks down the starchy carbs such as rice, bread, breakfast cereals into surprising amounts of sugar. So an example would be, say a small bowl of, of boiled rice, 150 grams, that digests down into the equivalent of about 10 teaspoons of sugar. So how would that be a great food if you had problem with your blood sugar? Maybe you could eat other things. So I've thought and thought about how about we change the diet, cut out the sugar, but also the starchy carbs that break down into sugar. And what has delighted me uh, and, and gives hope really to the world of type two diabetes is that for so many patients, if they're able to cut back on the sources of sugar, all of them, then they do so much better. And um, again, if I think back, so for the first 25 years of my, uh, my clinical work, I never once saw somebody get their type two diabetes properly into remission without drugs. And now by cutting out sugar and starchy carbs, type two diabetes remission without drugs is a thing that I'm seeing on a weekly basis. And in fact, even yesterday, I saw two people who've achieved this and imagine how proud they are. So that for me is type two diabetes in a nutshell.